spent years trying to get her now ex-husband, David Weiss, prosecuted for drugging her, she says, with prescription pills, including Xanax, and then sexually assaulting her over a year, she said. He was convicted of rape and five counts of criminal deviant conduct. For these crimes, he could have gotten a century behind bars. The prosecutor wanted 40 years, and he is serving zero years behind bars. Instead, this judge sentenced David to 20 years of house arrest, and then said, you only have to serve eight. The same judge, you're looking at him there, kind of looks like the guy, doesn't he? Tells Mandy, you need to forgive your attacker and move on. Even more disturbing, this convicted rapist is now fighting for visitation rights so he can see the couple's two kids. Mandy, who's, I believe, remarried, says her ex-husband has never apologized and revealed to her that he started drugging her for sex because she was, quote, snippy. Snippy! Oh, my gosh. Lion's Den. I, I mean, this story makes my blood boil. I guess I'll start with Alora Nanos, but I know we're going to go around a horn with anger and outrage. This is beyond outrageous. I mean, at least I suppose we have to be happy that the guy got convicted, even if he got sentenced to basically nothing. Nothing! And I don't know no what's work. worse. I don't know what's worse. That, that, you know, instead of it being a violent rape, that because he drugged her, that that's somehow considered not as bad, or it's not as bad because it's his wife that's the victim. Either way, it's yeah. horrible. This judge is ridiculous. Let me tell you something. Marital rape was legal in every state until the mid-1970s. How quickly we forget and, yeah. it's the old boys club, Ebony K. Williams. To that point, Jane, I think this is a case of judicial activism. This is a judge who doesn't like the legislation change. He doesn't like that a man can be convicted in a law of, of court, a court of law, excuse me, for raping his wife. And by giving this menial sentence, this nominal sentence, it's his way of being judicially active. And it's absolutely inappropriate. And the voters should vote him out of that position next election cycle. This, this oh, judge yeah. is going up for election, you know. He's, he's up for election. I think this 